two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. your 
time uh, and attentiveness. Yes, please. So we want to build these three things into our routine, something that we do on like daily? Yes, because if you don't, it really doesn't sink in. And like many things, if we think about exercise, you know, if you want to run a marathon, you can't run a marathon, or most people can't, you know, two days from now. But if you build on it incrementally, you know, three months, six months down the road, you be. And then it's no different with these topics because the results are not necessarily immediate. Uh, you know, it takes time. It's like growing things, building a foundation. Was there any other questions? Yes, please. So I have a nine-year-old niece, and as you know, technology is everything to kids now. So exercise doesn't come as easy as it did to kids who were 20 years ago. So how do you think, like, even for future parents, how do you think we can implement exercise into the children's lives because technology is going to be so much more apparent? Well, there's a couple different ways of doing that, and you know, I'll just speak from personal experience. Um, you know, you want, don't want to say you require your children to do certain things, but I always says they have to be doing something, some sort of activity. But my daughter, uh, her choice of activities was softball. My son's was wrestling. And if they decided to not want to do that anymore, that would be fine. But they had to identify something to replace that. And that way, you know, you have to do something. And unfortunately, you know, it's just like everything else. Unless sometimes you're pushed a little bit or forced a little bit, um, you don't do it. So I think that, you know, and my kids are grown. I think they're happy and healthy. So uh, it, it did seem to work, at least in their case. Any other questions? 